In this video, I'm going to talk about Matilda. The book, the movie, the musical, and the drawings were illustrations. As we all know, the book Matilda was written by the famous British novelist Roald Dell. He was born in 1916 and was a man with many masks. He was a spy, a fighter, pilot, chocolate historian, and medical inventor. But Rolda was known for his great stories, such as Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the BFG, the Big Friendly Giant, the Witches, Jams, and the Giant Peach, etc. But I'm only going to talk about Matilda in this video. So the book Matilda was published in 1988. A few years after the book was published, the Matilda movie made in 1996 was out and the movie was directed by Danny DeVito with Mara Wilson starring Matilda. Then there is the stage musical directed by Dennis Kelly and songs by Tim Minchin based on Roldell's Matilda. The first performance of the stage musical was in 2010. Twelve years after the first stage musical performance of Matilda, Netflix filmed a movie version of the musical. So talking about the history of Matilda, um, the story itself of Matilda started with two obnoxious and uncaring parents with their genius daughter, Matilda. Matilda was a brilliant girl who can read by the age of three by herself, but her parents cared nothing about her education, so she started school a bit later than most kids. Even so, it didn't stop her intelligent brain to develop. When she started school, she met a nice teacher named Miss Honey, who was caring and respectful. But unlike Miss Honey, the school's headmistress, Miss Trunchbull, was mean, rude, always yelling at students, and even throw students around like hammers. When Matilda had enough of the headmistress, she found herself with the ability of telekinesis, something you can do to move things with your mind. So she used her power to bring justice back into her school and for Miss Honey since Trunchbull was the evil aunt of Miss Honey. Reading the book was very exciting, especially looking at the illustrations that bring the story to life. We have to thank Quentin Blake for that, who made the book filled with beautiful drawings. So, Quentin Blake is a cartoonist and illustrator. The most well-known and popular illustration of his was from the 18 books written by Roldell, including Matilda. As you can see, Quentin Blake had a very unique style. His lines are very sketchy, as if he didn't think a lot when he draws. Blake's drawings are very childlike and seem like he drew very quickly, and the lines themselves seem to be floating which actually made the pictures feel like it's moving and full of motion. Blake's illustration can go with or without colors. He used watercolor to add a touch of life to his characters. Even the ones that are black and white, he used gray as the shading. With the colorful colors or only the black gray white colors, he brought the characters and the pictures to life. There are some of his iconic illustrations from Roldell's books.